A very pleasant good night, my beloved brothers and sisters in Christ and outside the body of Christ. Well, once again, this is your Christian brother, Eric Braxton, speaking to you all from his beloved country, Trinidad and Tobago, the land of my nativity, the land of my birth, Trinidad and Tobago, this wonderful island country, Trinidad and Tobago, that is in the blue Caribbean Sea. Yes, boys and girls everywhere who will fortunate to see this video on the internet and the world wide web. I say welcome. In this part 18 video, where I continue teaching you all about AJ Miller and Mary Susan Locke of Australia, that the claims that both of them are making about themselves is total false. AJ Miller is not Jesus Christ and Mary Susan Locke is not a reincarnation of the original Mary Madeline who lived 2000 years ago thousand years ago AJ Miller have full Mary luck to think that way and she, now she have accepted that belief and she are working and going along with him wholly and solely because they are living as husband and wife how unfortunately on her part having said that brothers and sisters I just want to continue to saying that AJ Miller continue to play the foolish game what is that foolish game brothers and sisters the foolish game that he claimed to be jesus christ you all think that aj miller is playing a good game where he will enjoy that game and at the end of the game even self he did not win the game or the game is jaw or jaw come to a jaw at least he is satisfied and content that he put out his best effort within that game. But if in fact at the end of the game he do win, then there is rejoicing on his part. And of course all those who was participating in that game with him. And what about we cannot left out, by and large we cannot left out, the spectators who was watching the game. They are part and parcel of that game. So at the end of the day, everybody is rejoicing in the part that they play. Those who put the players on the field, AJ Milan's team, the supporters that were supporting AJ Miller, and of course the other players with AJ Miller on that team concerning that game. But brothers and sisters, this is not a basketball game that A.J. Miller is playing. Neither Susan Mary Locke. This is not a football game are they playing. What game A.J. Miller is playing? He is playing the game of God. Because he claimed to be God, Jesus Christ, and Jesus Christ is God. The Bible plainly teaches us that Jesus Christ is God. And since he claimed to be Jesus Christ, then he is playing God when he is not. So he is playing a game. Frankly, I'm telling you all up front that he cannot win. He cannot win that game, brothers and sisters. And I, Eric Braxton, in these videos are teaching you all that facts. Specifically to the members of AJ, of AJ Miller cult, his cliques, his bands of followers. I want you all, any of you all see this video, or those who are temple, who have intention of joining his cult to become cliques and members of his band followers, you all better think again. Because AJ Miller cannot save you all. And you all will just be following him blindly, being part of his clique, of his bands of followers. And you all will be in an unfortunate situation. All of you who follow in AJ Miller in Australia, all of you are all of you all are in an unfortunate manner. Yes, but do you all know that? No, is I Eric Braxton and others like me who have to record videos and put it on YouTube and hope that you all see these videos to come to that realization. Yes, you all are in an unfortunate situation. And what is that situation? By following a man that cannot save none of you all. You all have put all yourself, just like all the followers who followed Jim Jones. That cult leader who took them from America and carried them in Guyana premeditately and planned to kill them and commit mass murder 
and give them the cyanide poison to drink in Guyana. You all are in the same position like the people who follow Jim Jones. Is anyone telling you all that? Dear followers, dear my, dear my brothers and sisters, followers of A.J. Miller and his cult in Australia, in the Bible Belt, is anyone telling you all that? Well, this little Christian boy, Eric Braxton, are telling you all, I'm bringing you all to that realization, to that reality in these videos. It is, of my, it is because of my love, my care for you all that I do not want you all to be to, um, to be destroyed just as these people who Jim Jones destroy by giving them the Sanai poison in Guyana and destroy them. I do not want you all to end up in that position. So you see, by that, you all should recognize my love, my care for you all. I'm very concerned about you all. That's why I'm recording these videos and appealing to you all that you all make the sensible and the right decision by resigning all yourself and come out of that man cult. Come out of his organization in AJ Miller and be ex-members and free all yourself from that cult because he are carrying you all down the drain, down the gutter. And all of you all are halfway there. Let me repeat. I all AJ Miller followers. All the men and women who are following AJ Miller. Young and old who are following AJ Miller. All of you all are halfway down the gutter. You all haven't reached the final end. But you all are all, all of you all are on the halfway mark. Do you all know that? No. None of you all doesn't know that. But I know that. That's why I'm telling you all that. So I want you all to wake up to that reality call. You all think that I'm just recording these videos to have fun. No, Eric Braxton is not recording this these videos to have fun. This is a serious matter that is at hand. When Jim Jones carried the people from America to Guyana, it was a serious matter. When all the people get killed, a thousand and more in Guyana, the world was shocked. Why were the world shocked, brothers and sisters of AJ Miller cult and the rest of the people who will be watching these videos? Why were the world was shocked? Because a horrible situation took place in Guyana. A thousand people lose their life and more. It makes world news all over the world and they throw the international community. It was a big embarrassment, of course, to the Guyana government. They thought Jim Jones was a good, respected, upright man. He was a, that was a affront. They was very disappointed in Guyana. Why? Because the president and the prime minister of Guyana welcomed Jim Jones wholeheartedly in the country and with his bands of followers. And they believe his dreams and the project that he brought the people there in Guyana to live in a commune in which they will work the land, do agriculture, etc., feed herself and thing. He have his men, they will go in the town and judge down Guyana to buy goods back to the community. So that was going on for quite a while. And since the you know Jim Jones, they see him as a whether as a pastor or as a prophet. I'm not so sure if they see him as a cult leader because as a cult leader, I'm not so sure that I grant him permission to be in Guyana. So I think the government wasn't looking at him in that way. But they welcome him in the country wholeheartedly, brothers and sisters. And when that incident take place in Guyana, it was unfortunately. And the governor, the government of Guyana, rethink back. And you see, they see the politicians. Yes, the politicians of Guyana and the president of Guyana, the president of Guyana and the prime minister of Guyana at that time, I can't remember the name, think back and say, you know, shocks, we shouldn't allow this man in this country, you know, we should not bring him in. He fooled us. That is exactly what these politicians are must think at that time. But on the unfortunate and horrible situation already, please help me now. Call um, my brothers and sisters of AJ Miller um, organization 
kids cult disciples and followers please help me now the horrible situation of the mass murder in Guyana already took place and I doesn't want that unfortunate situation to take place with you all brothers and sisters of AJ Miller cult so you see this is not a so we what I told you all earlier on this is not a football match or a cricket match this is a serious matter that is at hand. You all so serious and you all see now the unfortunate situation you all put all yourself in? Think of what I said very carefully, my brothers and sisters of A.J. Miller, who are the disciples and followers of A.J. Miller cult, his cliques and his bands of followers in Australia. Think very carefully what this little Christian boy, Eric Braxton, are teaching you all and the realization that I want you all to awake and to come to. Think about it very carefully. Now I have come to the end of this video. Now may the grace of God be with you and with me and with the human family. From this day forth and forevermore. Shalom peace. See you all in the next video soon. Bye bye my friends.